Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we will set up SAML single sign-on for ASP.NET Web Applications using Okta as IDP. Let's start. To download and install the Mini Orange ASP.NET SAML module follow the link displayed on the screen or you can also click on the link mentioned in the description of the video. After installation open the browser and browse the module dashboard with the URL showing on screen. Register or log in for configuring the module. This module is compatible with all the IDPs shown on the screen and all other SAML 2.0 compliant IDPs. You can see the plugin settings here. For configuring the module we will be using Okta as IDP. Let's configure the Okta as IDP. Go to Applications tab and select Applications. Click on the Create App Integration button. Select SAML 2.0 as sign-on method and click on Next button. In the General Settings section, enter App Name and click on the Next button. Here you need to fill up the single sign-on URL and audience URL which you will get from the SP Metadata. For SP Metadata go to ASP.NET SAML module. You will find the Service Provider Metadata on the right side of the screen. You can have three options to provide metadata to your IDP. Copy the ACS URL and paste it under the single sign-on URL field in Okta. Now copy the SP Entity ID and paste it under the Audience URL field. Select the name ID format and application username as your choice. Enter attributes name as per your choice. Click on Next button. Click on Finish button. You can find the IDP metadata under the Sign On section. Click on the Identity Provider metadata link. Copy the metadata URL it will require later. Now let's assign the Okta application to users. Go to Assignments tab. Click on Assign button to assign people. Once you assign the user, click on Done button. Now go to the ASP.NET SAML module. Click on Upload IDP Metadata button. Paste the Identity Metadata URL here copied from Okta, and click on Fetch Metadata button. You can see the URLs are auto-filled. Scroll down and click on the Save button and after that click on the Test Configuration button to test the configuration. On successful test configuration you will get the user attributes. Click on Configure Attribute Mapping button. You will be redirected to the Attribute Mapping section where you will see that the user attribute is an auto field. If you want to change the attribute, you can do so. Click on Save Attribute Mapping button. To integrate the module go to the Integration Code tab. Just copy-paste that code snippet wherever you want to access the user attributes. Add the URL which is showing on the screen, as a link in your application from where you want to perform SSO. For example, I am using this link like this. Let's see how it works. Go to your application and click on the link which you have added for SSO. Now sign in with your Okta credentials. You have successfully logged into your ASP.NET web application. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions please drop us a query at info at